everyone, this is Manfred from the GP Spray Pro team. In this video I will show you how to configure the templates for the mass email feature. In the previous video I configured the SMTP for mass email and this one will be the next step which is to configure the templates. So let's start GP Scraper. Alright, let's see here the mass email tab. The SMTP settings are already correct. So in this video we'll focus on the email templates. For each email you can set either a plain text template, a HTML template or both. And the recommended setting is to set both of them. We'll start with the plain text template. You can take uh, the template, for instance, in the GP Scraper 2011 folder in your documents folder. And I'll just show you here how it's this one template is full of this kind of tags. And these are the tags that's also available for output in the reports. So perhaps you'll uh, recognize them from there. The application will replace these tags with whatever it finds in the data when it uh, sends the email. So when it sends email, it uh, looks at the data in the data grid, and for the for the row that matches that email, it will replace the tag with the um, uh, real data. So for sending a plain text email, just write a, a sales letter or something like that in a normal text format, and then open it here with the plain text template, and replace uh, whatever tags you don't need. Then for the HTML template, it's exactly the same. You need a HTML template with this kind of tags, or if you just send a generic uh, sales letter, then you don't need any of those tags at all. Uh, important to remember in the HTML is that all uh, styling and all uh, pictures and such must be externally hosted. So it will not embed any pictures or style sheets that you have for the sales letter. Uh, let's take a template here, an HTML template. I will pick one I got here from Russ. And the preview shows the uh, sales letter here with some nice formatting. And there is also video in this. Uh, right now the video doesn't show. Yeah, now it's loaded. Uh, it takes a while. Depending on which uh, email client the user is using, they will have the option or not to see video. So I recommend if you have video, uh, I, re I recommend that you put some link for those who cannot view it directly in the in the email. And same again, you have the tags which can be replaced by the application by matching the email to that row with that data. And if you don't want to uh, have any tags at all, just use a generic template that works for everyone. Then you can switch here the plain text or the HTML preview. So you can configure both and preview them as well. If you don't have a plain text template, then uh, the application relies only on the HTML template. And most, most email clients will handle that. But uh, if you want to make sure that, in worst case, the client at least sees something, then also include a plain text template. When you configure the templates, just try sending a test email. All right, the test email was sent successfully. And we'll have a look at that. I log in to my Google here. And let's see, here we got it. Yes, the test email. This one has the HTML, and you can see in Gmail the video will not show up embedded. However, it 
if you include a link like this, the Gmail will parse it and actually embed it down here. But anyway, uh, it will show the template as it is. It doesn't replace any tags or anything. So this is uh, the raw preview. And then when you when you want to test a real email, you can use the uh, test run here. But that's for next video. Alright, so that was all about the email templates, how to set up the plain text and the HTML template.